30 students are renting a bus to visit Georgia's Little Grand Canyon. They plan on sharing the cost of the rental bus equally among themselves. The students figure out if another 10 students join, then each student will save $4 on a share of the rental bus cost. Assume again that the students share the cost equally. How much does it cost to rent the bus? Assume the cost to rent the bus does not depend on the number of passengers. So let's see if we can solve this problem algebraically. Okay, we're going to assume the cost to rent the bus is X dollars. Doesn't matter if 30 people are traveling or 40 people are traveling. Okay, if 30 people are traveling, then each person will pay the total cost of the bus divided by 30. So if 30 people are traveling, each person pays this. Let's see what happens if 40 people are traveling. Well, if 40 people are traveling, obviously each person pays x over 40 because you divide the total cost by the total number of people. That's exactly what you did here, divided the total cost by the total number of people. Let's see if we can come up with a relationship that involves these two. Now, remember, if there is a 30-way split you actually pay four dollars more than this case so this number is larger than this and x over 30 is four dollars more than x over 40. So basically what we are trying to say here is in case of a 30-way split each person pays this in case of a 40-way split each person pays this and you save four dollars when you go for the second option so the first option minus the second option has to be four all we need to do now is solve this equation x over 30 minus x over 40 is equal to four we're going to use algebra all right let's see how we can solve it so this is our equation x over 30 minus x over 40 is equal to 4. Well, let's see if we can multiply both sides of the equation by 30. Uh, this arrow simply means implies, that means this equation is equivalent to this equation. And we know when we multiply both sides of, of an equation by the same number, it's, it doesn't change the equation. So I multiplied this by 30 this by 30 and this by 30. Now let's simplify our equation. Well, this 30 and this 30, they cancel each other. This 0 and this 0 can be canceled. I get 3 fourths x and 4 times 30 is 120. Now to avoid this 4, I can multiply both sides of this equation by 4. 4 times x, 4 times x, 4 times this expression and 4 times 120 is 480. So let's simplify. 4x is 4x, but I can cancel these two 4s, and I get 3x is equal to 4, 480. Now 4x minus 3x is x, so x is 480. So the cost to rent the bus has to be 480. And that's our answer. The answer is 480.